High school football week number three, another matchup we will be looking at. The Sharanda Warriors opening up at home against Light Ridge in week three. And last week, the Warriors with a win in Jefferson out of West Virginia. Now joining me, the head coach of the Sharanda Warriors, TJ Rohrball. And coach, just looking back on last week's game against Jefferson, I know Jefferson had the ball, they scored first, but your team wasted no time going back down scoring. And uh, one player in particular, Micah Carlson, rushing in for a couple touchdowns. And just having that first score that Jefferson it got coming back and matching them and then taking the lead and going on that run. How did it feel for your team to overcome some of that adversity with that first score coming from the opponent? Well, you know, you never want the other team to get the ball and go down and score like they did. Uh, but those things happen. You know, it's good for your kids to experience that being down in a football game and, you know, having to, you know, pick, pick it up a little bit and, and battle back and, we were able to go down, tie it up, get a stop, and then go back down and take the lead. And, you know, we were able to play out in front the rest of the night. So, you know, I was happy with the way our kids responded to that situation. In looking at Micah Carlson, a, a few rushing touchdowns on the night. Just take me through offensively what r really worked best for Micah in terms of getting open in space and finding those lanes to go and score. Well, like you said, it's, you know, we got to open up lanes up front. I think our offensive line has done a good job of opening up lanes for our running backs and, and also for Micah. But, you know, one of the benefits of having a quarterback uh, who is mobile and, and who can run the football is that you know, you're either getting an extra hat at the point of attack, so you're getting an extra blocker, or, you know, you're able to create some misdirection and, and, and have him run off that misdirection. So, you know, it's worked for us early in the year, and Mike has been doing a good job of, um, you know, well, A, you know, finding the right gaps in, in the run game, whether it's power scheme, ISO scheme, uh, or, or with our sweep scheme. And then definitely when we get down on the goal line, I think he has six rushing touchdowns this year. Uh, he's been able to, to put the ball in the end zone, which has been big for us. In defensively, too, forcing some turnovers, just take me through what pleased you defensively from this team. Well, you know, I think uh, we got out there. Jefferson, you know, they're big up front. They have a lot of good athletes. Uh, they went down and they scored on us right away, but I thought our guys did a good job of settling in. Uh, you know, you always worry about that first possession um, defensively just because, you know, you, you get a decent look from your scout team all week in practice, but then when the other team comes out and they start running the offense, it's happening a lot faster and they're executing a lot better um, than you've seen previously, like in practice. So, you know, you're just trying to get caught up with game speed. But, you know, I, I thought our defense did a good job. Turnovers are always going to play a, a big role um, in the outcome of the football game. We were able to get three takeaways on defense, and we only had one on offense. So, you know, uh, that, that was big for us. So looking ahead to the matchup this Friday night against Light Ridge, Light Ridge, a team over the mountain in Loudoun County. I know they have some weapons, but uh, what are you looking to eliminate from them come Friday night to get the victory? Well, you know, they got, you know, uh, a, a good football team over there. They're pretty solid across the board. They got a couple of SDS kids. Uh, on the team, um, number three for Light Ridge. He did a number on us last year at, at wide receiver. Uh, he had a lot of catches. He had a lot of yards, and he had uh, a few touchdowns. Um, so, you know, hopefully this time around we'll be able to do a better job of keeping him in check. But, you know, just as a team, uh, Light Ridge, very well-coached football team. Uh, their coaches do a good job of coaching those guys up. Um, and we just got to come out and we got to play good football. We had five turnovers against them last year. Uh, one was returned for a touchdown. Uh, so we got to get a lot better in that department if uh, we plan on uh, being able to compete with and, and potentially beat these guys on Friday night. So far, Coach, two games into the season, uh, it seems like the Warriors are playing some pretty good football across the board. I know there might be some things that you want to improve to get just a little bit better, but how is just the energy and the atmosphere with the team um, two weeks in and the success you have had so far? You know, it's it's always, you know, better when you're, when you're putting – uh, notches in the win column uh, as opposed to losing football games. But our guys have done a good job. They've showed up to practice, uh, you know, since we started back in July. They've been showing up to practice. They've been working hard every day. Um, we've been working on getting better, and that's our, our focus. And, 
you know, I think our guys have done a, our guys have done a good job of responding, um, you know, to practice and, and being focused and dialed in and ready to go every day. And I think that's paid off. And you know, we, we didn't get an opportunity to get out and practice today because of the situation here um, with the schools in Frederick County. Um, so you know, that'll hurt us a little bit this week. But um, you know, I know guys will come in, be focused, ready to go tomorrow, and you know, hopefully, we can uh, keep the momentum going. Once again, Sharando in Lightridge facing off as Sharando opens their home stand against Lightridge in week number three. As always, joining me, the head coach of the Sharando Warriors, TJ Rohrball. And coach, as always, really appreciate your time, sir. Yeah, thank you, Josh. I appreciate it.